Throughout history, millions of people were afflicted by a frightening disease with no cure. In the early 20th century, a 23-year-old black woman developed the first effective treatment, but you've probably never heard of her. Let me tell you about Alice Augusta Ball. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. Who was Alice Ball? She was an American chemist who didn't just break medical barriers, but social ones as well. She was born in 1892 in Seattle, Washington, raised by a family of professional photographers. She first discovered the wonders of chemistry in her grandfather's dark room. After getting her bachelor's degrees in pharmaceutical chemistry and the science of pharmacy at the University of Washington, Alice moved to Hawaii to pursue her master's in chemistry. In 1915, she was the first woman and the first African-American to graduate from the University of Hawaii. But she didn't stop there. She was only 23 when she became the college's first black professor and their first female chemistry professor. But her true claim to fame is using chemistry to battle one of humanity's most feared diseases, leprosy. Records of leprosy, now known as Hansen's disease, go back thousands of years. 95% of people are naturally immune, but people who did contract the disease could get disfiguring skin lesions and nerve issues. These people were often arrested and sent to remote colonies, permanently quarantined from society while suffering from this serious disease. During Alice's time, there was just one treatment, chamugra oil. This oil was extracted from a tree that grows in India and Sri Lanka. People tried to take it in all different ways, but each method had its downsides. Rubbing the oil on the skin had limited results. Injecting it led to rows of painful boils. And those who consumed the oil got so nauseous, they often couldn't even keep it down. Alice, who had previously worked with other medicinal plants, like the kava root, got involved in the research to help make chamugra oil a more efficient treatment. During the day, she taught chemistry classes, and at night, she was working away at a cure in the lab. After a year of experiments, Alice cracked it. She developed a process where she froze the chalmugra oil's fatty acids, isolating their ethyl ester compounds. These compounds still had the medicinal properties of the chalmugra oil, but were water soluble, so they could be injected and absorbed safely by the human bloodstream. Her process became the main treatment for thousands of leprosy patients across the globe. However, she didn't get to see how her formulation changed the world. Before she could publish her results, Alice fell ill. Alice traveled back home to her family in Seattle, where she passed away. She was only 24 when she died. After Alice's death, her graduate advisor, Arthur Dean, continued her experiments and published papers about their amazing results without even mentioning Alice at all. This guy even named the process after himself, calling it the Dean Method. I call that process the stealing method. Dr. Harry Hallman, who also worked with Alice, tried to publish the truth about what he called the ball method. But Alice's contributions were largely ignored until 1977, when poet Dr. Catherine Waddell Takara and retired federal worker Stanley Ali found Alice's records in University of Hawaii's archives. These two were instrumental in spreading the true story of her discovery. In her short time on Earth, she made the world a better place through science and I hope that she inspires other young women as they seek to do the same. Let the story of Alice Augusta Ball be a lesson to all thieves out there. History finds the truth. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.